What's the best gift you have ever given to someone, or what's the best gift you've ever received? Jesse Jones from OLG's The Drive is hitting the streets. He's asking if it's better to give or to receive. He wants to know about the most rewarding, the most interesting, and the most bizarre gifts given and received. You can follow the excitement as it unfolds online at globalnews.ca slash the drive. Brought to you by OLG. This holiday season, give the gift of what if with OLG Lottery. No question. This is a huge time of year for holiday travel. And a lot of people heading to parties, you're going out, you're going to the airport, wherever. There's a lot of people on uh, the roads. And there are new impaired driving laws in place that you need to know about because they kick in tomorrow. The basic question, like, what are your rights? Because the new impaired driving laws give police sweeping new powers. And, you know, the message still is very much don't drink and drive. But because pot now is a thing, they've had to switch things up. Remember, we don't have that technology for those roadside tests. So now cops, uh, you know, up until now have had to... You know, they've had to have reasonable suspicion to pull you over to ask you if you're under the influence and give you a breathalyzer. Well, now, under these new powers, they can demand of anyone in the car at any time for any reason to do a breathalyzer. And a lot of lawyers are saying, "Mm, yeah, no, 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 this breaches your uh, charter rights. And one of those is Michael Bryant, who is uh, over at the Civil Liberties Association. The concern is this is, firstly, an intrusion on everybody's liberty, uh, and secondly, that it really amounts to legalized carding, um, although in this case, it's not just the ability to ask people questions about who they are and get their ID, but they have to hand over a breath sample, which is one of the most significant intrusions upon our liberty that we have within our legal system, where the police can ask you for something beyond just information, but literally a piece of yourself. Exactly. So... What happens then if you get pulled over? You really should know your rights. Let's bring in Joe Newberger to go over some of those. He joins us now. Uh, Joe, you know, civil liberty groups won't like this new uh, legislation for impaired driving, but mothers against drunk driving and those who have been affected by it will say, you know what, we need to do this. Where are you on this issue? It, it, the reality is I just think it's a bait and switch. That that's That's the whole issue. I think this is a superficial amendment to sort of mask the deficiencies with detecting drivers who are impaired by drug. That's my opinion. Because as the law is today, before tomorrow, all the officer needs to establish, you know, reasonably trained officers who understand the indicia of impairment just need to establish a reasonable suspicion, a small base standard that's based on some evidence in order to demand a body sample. And so that can be an admission of consumption of alcohol, an odor of alcohol emanating from the person's breath, some other signs of indicia like red eyes, slurred speech. It's so easy to establish reasonable suspicion that, to me, eliminating it won't protect the public in any meaningful way, but will have an intrusive invasion on individual rights. That's my opinion, and I think it's window dressing because they are way behind in what they have to do to detect impaired drivers by drug. Right. Do you see this thing then moving forward becoming a bunch of, uh, you know, charter challenges, or is that just a given anyway? No, it's, it's going to happen. And I know today, I think Michael Bryant, on mm-hmm. behalf of the Civil Liberties Association, said they're going to challenge yeah. it. I know the first case I have, I will challenge it. And so there's going to be multiple challenges in the Ontario Court of Justice, which will uh, bog down trials and already impaired driving related cases probably still consume at least 40 percent of the trials that go on. It's totally unnecessary. It'll make its way to the Court of Appeal and probably Supreme Court of Canada. I mean, this is really now a complete elimination of any evidentiary standard right. to, to get a body sample. You know, some may say, you know, driving's a privilege, so what? But I think it's, it's quite invasive and it violates the Charter. Okay, so, you know, there are going to be an awful lot of people who do not know their rights and they will go out and, you know, what would you be telling people over the holidays if you find yourself pulled over, what are you allowed to do and what aren't you allowed to do when a police officer pulls you over and asks you uh, Look, for your ID? It, it, you know, when you're, when you're pulled over, cooperate. Because it's better to cooperate and if a charge arises from there, you, you may have a better opportunity at trying to fight that charge rather than not complying, because a fail to comply right now will have 
no defense. It's like a strict liability offense with a minimum $2,000 fine. So, and you don't even have at the roadside any right to counsel. That's the other issue. You know, mm-hmm. you're stopped. You're totally at the mercy of the state, and you can't even contact the lawyer to get advice. So the advice I give to people is just simply cooperate. If you're charged, hire a lawyer, work out the issues with them, and see if there's a defense available. And what about a sample? Do you say just give that and deal with it after? Absolutely, because, again, if you refuse when it's mandatory, there's no defense. You may run a constitutional argument, but the reality is I don't know what the courts are going to do. I, you know, With all these amendments that's come down, effective as of the 18th. There's many avenues of defenses which are cut off, and we've been moving in the direction through the courts of uh, more and more um, severity with respect to defenses. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're seeing them cut away and less liberty available to individuals who are charged. So this is one of those types of offenses which has drawn so much ire from the community and now political response that I also think the courts are not, not open to, in my respectful sort of opinion, that uh, are open to these types of challenges. But this will be fought very vigorously because it's an invasion in civil liberties. Yeah. Well, you know, who knew when you you got the legal pot, you'd open this Pandora's box to kind of stepping on particular liberties. I just, I get concerned that people want to just lay it all out there. And if they don't have the proper legal advice to turn to, they could find themselves in trouble where, you know, they shouldn't be. That's an excellent yeah. point, because at the roadside at 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. there is absolutely no right to counsel. The police will not give you that right. You can't call a lawyer. Mm-hmm. And so you're powerless versus the state. And people may not get it. I mean, I've had clients who said, like, do I have to do this afterward? Like, I don't get it. Why can't I speak to a lawyer? They just don't understand. But they don't have any opportunity to speak with a lawyer. That has already been eliminated. And now there's no evidentiary standard. That's eliminated. So I find this weighted too much in favor of the power of the state and too much of an erosion of civil liberties and the right uh, for somebody to have some advice or at least have some evidentiary basis for an officer to demand a body sample, in my opinion. It's all about the fine print, Joe. You should know it. Everyone else I know. Should. You know all You about... know the fine print. Everyone else uh, should know it, too. I do, but it's tough for everybody, right? Yeah. Well, I've got you on speed dial, so I'm covered. <laughs> but uh, I thank you, Anytime. sir. <laughs> Joe, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. My pleasure, Alex. Have a good show. Take care. That is Joe Newberger, and I would have him on speed dial for sure. He's a good one, no question. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of interesting new developments. I think with this new legislation, should you need it, just remember the words of Joe here on Point on Global News Radio.